Okay. All right. So this is part two of First Corinthians. Um, and again, this is Shay Seeking. Say Shay Seeking or Shalanda, and I'm never here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm never here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me. Um, and we are just, again, um, I've been called to, you know, after the video, like I said, I did last night to kind of extend it. Something took me into um, the biblical text. And I feel like this is the same thing we're talking about when we're talking about the prophecy um, uh, being fulfilled in this times and that the times are here. It, excuse me. And the connection, regardless of, again, how people want to look at it. I know that, again, because of uh, due to emotions, time, you know, um, us getting a better understanding and even new people coming into um, the realization that, again, um, we're all here. So if you're here, then I'm guessing you belong here or you've been placed here for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying, on this particular soil. Um, you know, it just so happens that there's an energy here that wants to take possession of the soil. Um, and I feel like this has something to do with the Midwest or the North. Um, and, um, you know, it's just what, again, no matter what it is or what it ain't, is what it's perceived to be. And so perception is everything. And if people perceive it that way, then, right? So if we don't change the direction, right, with the wind, right? Uh, when it comes to just nature, Hmm. Just had me thinking of sitting there. Um, you know. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. I just got like a, like a, I don't know. Um, um, just when it comes to a black hawk and I can't remember um there was even a story that we did oh uh, well again I took everything down so um about again the native aspect of a um Mary and child but I can't remember um the exact names right now maybe I'll uh, pull it up later on and and share that storyline so again a two amputate that connection i know that there's this war against hey who's native and who's indigenous and originally like so again to bring order to the court to make a realization that again there is this missing piece that we're putting back together but it doesn't discount right that's not what and that's what i'm saying i'm just not here for that other people may be here for that i'm just not here for that and that's what i'm saying we're dealing with different gods um is what i see here and I can kind of now sense which ones we're talking about. Like now here, I think we're dealing with the great spirit, right? With spirit. Um, in this particular instance right here that we're going to read about. Um, and so, again, just taking it through uh, mythology, folklore, um, native um, information. It's not that much written or seen when it comes to prophecy in Aboriginal text, you know, but then like we said, the biblical text is the old Testament is the old world is the basic um, information about the Aborigines here in the Americas. Um, again, in my opinion, or Hebrew when it comes to Adonai being again, the God of the Hebrews. So that, that, that separates Adonai from Jehovah from you see what I'm saying? And so I'm now I'm starting to even see when using, uh, when in commune and using these different names and why do I feel like in this instance, we're talking Adonai. In this instance, you know, rather that's the great spirit, right? Um, and then when we talk about Jehovah, there's a different energy. And then, you know what I'm saying? So just realizing and starting to be able to see the difference between, okay? Um, so this part reminds me of that prophetic message that we listened to yesterday and how it's all intertwined or it's all connected in a circle of life in a sense, right? Okay. So it says, God will surely do this for you. 
um, for he always does just what he says. And he is the one who invited you to this wonderful friendship. Okay. So again, like we were just talking, I think we were just talking about this, like rather we have been grafted in or honored or, you know, something bestowed upon or ordained in a sense, or again, brought in to share in something. Okay. That love thy neighbor type of energy. Um, that there's that union regardless, right? That, uh, that it says here, a uh, wonderful friendship, but you know, even a companionship even with his son or his descendant, right? Okay. Um, even Christ our Lord. Okay. So let's keep on going. But dear brothers, I beg you um, in the name of the Lord, Yeshua Christ. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So we're saying the Lord and Yeshua Christ or Jesus Christ to stop arguing amongst yourself. Let there be real harmony so that there won't be splits in the church. Now, again, that's the same thing I feel like when we were talking about peace and justice and being fair to your brother, you know, and your sister or um, in that sense, you know, because there's going to, you know, unity is just always going to be key. And this is a awakening of the spirit of that part of the soul or spirit or energy, right? That seems like it's transferable. Something that is, you know, I don't even know why I want to say awaken, right? Awaken, walking. Um, um, okay. Okay, so again, so that there won't be that split, right? Because I know some people are just saying only this, you have to look like this. And, you know, so we bring up those characteristics to sh share the story, right? But it shouldn't be, that. that's not the message that, again, I'm given here, right? And again, everybody can do whatever they want. Maybe they're being led by a different spirit, right? So again, so that there won't be a split in the church, right? So again, it's just like, what could cause that kind of a split? Hmm. And like he said that, you know, um, rain, you know, that uh, Christian uh, leaders or Catholic leaders can't bring rain, right? But, but we can't, right? So again, that, that rain is also, you know, making me think about like some type of even, like I said, control of elements in nature, getting to know. And I don't know, it's just like, I just think that this land, like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, maybe that's just like a little biased part of me when it comes to this land <laughs> that, it's the most beautiful. And I think that just we have been turned away to look elsewhere for the magnitude of a beauty that is on this mass. Doesn't matter who, what color, how you look, what you came from, where, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. When it comes to this particular, I, I just, I hold something for the Americas. And that is the whole thing all the way from the, the top, the pole, right, all the way down to the islands. Um, and again, that, 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 that's not saying what I feel about people. I'm just talking about the land. And when that, I was watching that clip, how beautiful it just is and how we have all the elements here. We have the, 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 the desert, the plains, um, you know, uh, the colder climates. I, I can't remember what we called it. And, the tundra <laughs> i remember doing a science project in science on like the different elements and building it up and putting it well okay it was just fun so anyway <laughs> um and uh you know i noticed you know what i noticed that in school and stuff children don't get to be like that creative anymore everything is just so plain and like written or drawn out like they don't get to like 
how we used to use like the to, the the toothpicks and you know different things and popsicle sticks and stuff to build up stuff and use beans and stuff and put them on poster board to talk about like the different areas and what grew in in the land you know i don't know i just missed that maybe that's why i just like crafts and stuff now okay but anyways okay so in real harmony so that there won't be a split in the church so again and that's what i'm saying about that unity and in the split also so again personally i feel like i've been kind of like targeted or affected by that particular split right so even when you hear me say um native as a term right is that which is native of nativity but it is still all together in the circle of life of like offspring so again there's order there but it doesn't make any one group better than the other or not belong you know like i said when i explain those things about the timeline it's just to show the fluctuation of how people came in and see again what was going on in those times what was being bestowed upon them by nature and god and what was being bestowed upon those by law and um uh in in lineage or being grafted in and what's going on now how can that affect us going forward if Again, if that particular instance happens again and those particular people that end up with everything have a certain mentality or personality where they feel as though because of the way somebody looks, they don't belong. You see what I'm saying? So it's all together, right? A nation divided cannot stand and that's what's going on right now, right? So again, it doesn't even have to be united by it's just by one oh yeah just like we're just saying here by one mind okay so not one mind to be able to take that energy and 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 use it for evil or wicked or to again assault someone with it and treat someone unfairly with it and treat somebody as a cast you're doing the same exact thing that again we say other people did but if you really question what's going on who did it you see who done it <laughs> You know? So. Um, so, yeah, that one mind. And, you, and we can take that and use that across the whole board. It's just something to take into consideration on building, nation building, like real nation building and partnership, again, amongst other um, groups. Unity. Okay, so I plead with you to be of one mind, united in thought and purpose for some of those who live at Chloe's house. Okay, have told me of your argument and quarrels, uh, dear brothers, right? Mm. Some of you are saying, I am a follower of Paul. Okay, so again, when I'm, so when I'm thinking of just like that, that energy of the follower of Paul, because I think, especially when we came to women, I can't, what was it that I remember? Uh, it was between Paul and somebody else, and Paul, I think, was of more of chastity. So it's funny that that's coming up in this instance when we're talking about this whole, you know, gossip geared energy towards divine masculine and feminine that's turning it basically into a joke. And that, that's an infestation within the whole, right, unit. Hmm. And others say that they are for Apollos, okay, or for Peter, okay. So Paul, Apollos, and Peter, and some that they alone are the followers of Christ. So that's four energies. I don't know. It's reminding me of like even the four winds. Hmm. So, and so in effect, you have broken Christ into many pieces. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Hold on. Okay. So, okay. So maybe that's what that, that four winds energy is coming in. And again, the, the things that, um, at Chloe's house. So, 
what the uh, uh, verse 11, 1 and 11, 1 Corinthians, what's today? Hold on, I just looked. Okay, the 19th. Hmm. Okay, so again, that is also like, yeah, I feel like a plea in a sense. And so again, <laughs> see it? I don't know. It's just a feeling. It's just a, oh my goodness. It's a feeling like, again, that real change could be. And it's, and it's coming regardless that we want. It's just how we handle it. How we just treat each other. It's never too late to just not. Mm. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Some of you are saying I am following. Okay, we already did that part. And so in effect, you have broken Christ into many pieces. So again, it's like a, almost like a infidelity. And I'm sure if we break that down, which I'm not going to do right now, <laughs> that is talking of the nature of just, like I said, we're thinking of it totally. You know what? Okay, let's just see it just real quick. Because it just seems like there's like an infidelity and not even when it comes to an, a so-called sexual act. It's just those sexual Im immoralities, right? Which is the conjoining of certain groups within groups. And just like what it's talking about here. Paul, Athenos, Christ. See? Hmm. You know? It's like division, division of everything, everything down to who got a piece of cloth across their face and don't. Unbelief, unfaithful, okay, unfaithfulness or disloyal to a person, a sovereign by a 16th century to a lover or spouse. Mm. Yeah. Trust, confide as uh, uh, related entries. Adherent of religion opposed to Christianity. An infidel. So again, you can take it how you want. However it resonates with you within that message. Okay. So that's why I'm saying like, um, even like when there is a open type of Communication about a relationship. Right? Or a, a cosmic courtship. Right? Because again, some of us know that we were or in situations and we are in certain very <laughs> variant areas or gray areas within those, again, trying to find our way. When it comes to, again, this parallel universe or dimensional universe. Where, again, you're in this physical, but, again, things are being lined up for you in um, another light. And it may alter things. So that's what I'm saying. It's not always uh, sorcery, right? Some of it is just those things, that those underlying things that are going on in people's lives while they're trying to get it together. When it comes to, again, the spiritual aspect of things. And looking at man's way of law or lie or matrimony as in something that is also just used in order to, you know, like relationships are whatever. Take it how you want, how you ever people operate, right? But I think that, again, uh, it was basically about that piece of paper in control when, it, when we look at marriage or matrimony in the way that we do today. And in that way, you know, sometimes a lot of 
it doesn't last. Or just even looking at the religious aspect and feeling some kind of way about it and saying, oh, I can't, you know, let me, like I just look at things like that a, a whole different way. So we're not going to get all the way into that today. But as long as everything is open, you see what I'm saying? Um, it's something I had to learn, right? Um, so it says, but did I, Paul, die for your sin? Okay. Mm. Hmm. Oh man, I'm seeing Paul energy. <laughs> uh oh, Paul energy. Hmm. Yeah, almost like even from me, and again, I, I'm feeling it coming from another direction too, um, where it's if like, so did I die for your sin or was it my sin? Or, you know what I'm saying? Was it something that was done to me or something that I did? You know, knowingly, willingly, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. That just made me think about that. And then breaking Christ into many pieces taking that fullness from Christ as that cornerstone and removing that cornerstone and having a truncated pyramid, right? To then place maybe an idol there. So like an industrial kind of move rather than it being something of what is the natural process or what was ordained. You know, I'm just almost seeing something like that. But yeah, breaking Christ into many pieces. Hmm. Yeah, because um, I'm uh, also seeing like that spreading of mm, that spreading of that energy that maybe wasn't supposed to be so transferable to just everyone. Because that that's what can maybe make things if it's not like ordained or if it's not orderly. Right. Or every, everybody's not in the know. Right, which it could then cause a, a situation. And then now, again, Christ is broken up into many pieces. And maybe this is why, again, people were stoning him. But then he said, if anybody can be, you know, uh, is sinless or whatever, let them throw the first stone. You see? I don't know. That's just what, what this reminded me of. Because, again, you just that's because you know me and I don't know you. Mm. Were any of you baptized in my name? I am so thankful now that I didn't baptize any of you except Crispus and Gaius. Oh my goodness, wait, where is something in Gaius? was in one of those things. Because even with that Gaius, I, uh, I think that, I want to say that that name came up in Greek mythology about the, the spirits again. Like I said, um, I think it was um, Eos and Aphrodite and somebody else. Maybe, I don't know if Bilquis is who I've been looking into lately. Um, and again, the, the sisters felt some kind of way about the other sister. And so they sent... Um, and it's funny because yesterday we were in that uh, verse about common clay, right? So um, I guess their thing to get back at her was to poke fun and say, hmm, we, you know, because um, she was looked at as like different, 
more unique or something or beautiful or something, you know. And again, I, I don't like the, when, when that stuff is uh, being said. I think it's about the spirit of people, the energy. Um, so they decided to put these curses on her and um, make it so she could not fall in love with anybody but um, a commoner or something like that. And they laughed and said, oh, we are already, you know, well off married to, you know, um, these particular um, gods or, you know, whatever. And now we made it so that you, you know, will suffer and that you will only be, you know, stuck. And so they sent spirits on to her to defile her temple. Um, and I'm saying I'm, the way I'm looking at that today is a mental, right? And possibly, you know, uh, when it comes to an unwanted, um, again, it's all looked at when we looked at it again the other day as raping, taking from somebody, um, offering somebody up that's not your place to do. So it's important to speak these things so we can see these things. It's not even, it's just, just what it is or source or the spirit will not put it on me. So that maybe moving forward, this things would not happen. That seemed like this is what's in this message here. Sometimes someone has to be the one to experience all of those things. So again, that's that Christ energy. And like we even talked about the capitals and the capital buildings, that being that Christ. Um, but then there's also, again, Christ's plural, right? Which would be also those other capital buildings. Um, but it's almost like those capitals, and we're talking about, again, if we're talking about domes, other domes, um, coming together, all together, even this group and that group and that group, like we read the other day, um, decided to just come against that. Uh, because, again, even the whole Zeus myth mythological form or fashion of this is still, it's about the symbols or the parables or the allegorical view of it. They, they really probably had no reason to go against. But again, some of them maybe didn't even know that that's what they were doing. See? But again, that's what, it, what has been done. So the whole thing about breaking Christ up, and again, I feel like that is that evil eye energy turned towards, right, individuals. Um... Mm. Okay, so again, I didn't baptize any of you except Crispus and Gaius. And I don't know why this always reminds me of Crispus addicts. <laughs> For now, no one can think mm -hmm. that I have been trying um, to start something new. Okay, so again, um, in that instance too, when, okay, so yeah, because I noticed that some of these, uh, you know, uh, so-called readers will tell you certain symptoms that you're going to be having. And I'm thinking like, what does that really mean though? You know, if they do have an eye in that, that's really them knowing that, knowing the results of the witchcraft or the sorcery. Again, I feel that they put on you, um, in some instances. And, um, this is how they know it's like a monitoring, even spirit. And, even that made me think about Ephraim and uh, Manasseh. Again, like all these names are in my tree. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's just overwhelming. I think all the stuff that just has been coming in. And I see why some groups were targeting that native energy or if they feel they seen it in me, it was a target. And seeing that I'm just more about unity and not division or hate, you know, but led by the spirit. It's, 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 you know, it's kind of sad how people can, you know, do that. So again, not trying to start something new. Mm. So even like I said, this could be talking about someone um, baptizing because I look at baptizing different. Okay. Um, so again, that make, it's making me think that this is either a male energy saying that he baptized, I mean, whoever, right? One energy. Um, and then there's another energy here 
again, saying that, you know, it makes me think about the second stick or the two sticks or in the world card, the two wands or whatever, okay? The two goats, the two lions, the two, you know what I'm saying? I know it has to do with things that are also going on within, right? But then outwardly, that connection, the two palm trees, the two, the, um, the candlesticks. So again, it just, the two flags behind the president. Um, and I think the other day, uh, Biden was working, uh, uh, doing a, a, a interview or something or making an address and there was two gold candlesticks on either side that, that I was just paying attention to. I don't know, I can't help but like the visions of stuff. It just to kind of think, bing, 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 like my, my eyes and my mind are just like, you know. Um, so again, having again, those two. So I think people were taking that and saying, hey, this person is doing this. And so, yes, because the other day I was walking down the sidewalk and I was just even thinking like, oh, so this is what, you know, people want to make it seem like that, you know, and it was just like this, uh, something came over that said, uh, and I, I think it came from a song or something um, about just friends. It was like a song about like saying that somebody was just a friend or something like that. Um, hmm. So yeah, just even having those two energies and people making it feel like it's something else. You know what I'm saying? Of course, when you're dealing with energies, you have to go through the motion and sift through and feel and test the energies, right? But again, keeping that separate um, in some kind of way. And it, I mean, because I know it can be hard again when you're around a whole bunch of people that don't see or understand. And you see that there's changes that have to be made that you don't even really understand what the heck is going on. You thought this and, and now, again, source come and bring a whole nother dimension and plop it in front of you. And you have to like sift through it and listen and be guided, right? But I'm just learning, I'm seeing things <laughs> different every day and seeing things. So again, um, that's saying I'm trying to start something new, beginning a church of Paul. Okay, so again, that's making me think also that it's about the chastity. So again, yes, it's about that chastity. And just even like the trust. It's okay to have trust issues. Don't let nobody make you think it's not okay to have trust issues to a certain extent. <laughs> I just see things different. All of those things are placed there to lead you or show you something at some point in time. To even have you walk even a little bit more cautiously, possibly. Mm. So again, a church of call. So again, that's just making me think, like I said, of chastity, because again, I think in that storyline, uh, one of those um, Greek mythologies, it was about the person being mean or uh, one of the women, they made her seem like she was a prude or something like that. But again, she was just more reserved and, you know, she probably just knew exactly what she wanted, you know, that that was just it. But then other people didn't like that and went in and tried to do these things. And it's about gifts even. Um, even when looking at Sheba and Bilquis and how they were trying to give her gifts. And she said, ain't nothing you got that can compare to what source gives and does for me. So I don't want your gifts. <laughs> you know. And again, now I'm seeing that some of this stuff is spiritual gifts in a sense. You know, so... I, like I said, I don't want to be bound down. I don't want to I, give me give me this that which is the all, which is that that's the all, <laughs> right? That 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 th when it comes to any type of gift, let it be packaged in that kind of love. Or 
nothing at all. So again, and I think that's Source's way too of getting us to see and move by encompassing you in that something where you can't even uh, breathe because almost like the world card in the tarot deck. Mm. Oh yes, and I have been baptized, the family of Stephanias. I don't remember every baptizing, um, ever baptizing anyone else. Okay, so again, this is, <laughs> mm. yeah, I, I just really feel like I feel like this is the energy of just even, like I said, within that community, that collective community of, you know, hearing stories of different relationships or whatever and saying, is this really going on? So I had to like really tap into what are we talking about? Are we talking about like anything that's on another level in another dimension maybe? But again, this is some of these instances I'm seeing that they were sent on to those people by jealous or envious, you know? And so again, that, it just gets so ugly, I think. Now, now that I'm being able to see it fully, it just gets ugly. And then that's why I see also these women that had the blinders on. And so, again, I think it's going to get real deep when we get over here talking about the head covering. And then I'm about to get off of here. <laughs> okay? We're talking about this head covering because that woke me up. That's what woke me up this morning. Head covering. And then I, I, I heard a soul sibling say something about the head covering. And it just made me say, oh, hold on. I'm seeing this in a whole nother light. And so we're going to go into it. Okay? We're going to go into it. Hopefully we can get a better understanding. Okay. For Christ didn't send me to be baptized. I mean to baptize, but to preach the gospel. And even my preaching sounds poor. For I do not fill my sermons with the profound words and high sounding ideas. Okay. Oh, like that even stands out. Hold on, let's read this slow, right? Okay. Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Okay. And even my preaching sounds poor. I do not fill my sermons with profound words and high-sounding ideas for a fear of diluting the mighty power there 